Page one of Google is where all the action is and page two is boring, but what can you do if your page is stuck there? This video will show you 11 on-page SEO things for you to experiment with to boost your rankings and make you feel epic when you finally get your page to page one of Google. You can test if your page matches the intent that Google thinks is behind the searches query. Over time, Google's machine learning algorithms refine their understanding of what a person is looking for when they search for a particular query. Check Google for the query, look at the top results and see if the content types matches yours. A good example of targeting the wrong search intent is a SaaS product page attempting to rank for informational queries. If there is a mismatch between the intent in the results and your content, try experimenting with recreating the page and matching the intent. Both users and Google tend to like fresh content as it shows the article has been kept up to date with new and relevant information. So adding published and update date will allow users and Google to understand how fresh and relevant an article is. When you want to improve rankings, you should also consider expanding content with new sections to better cover the topic at hand. A great way to get ideas for new content sections is to have a look at Search Console data for keywords already driving clicks to the page. The page details view in SEO testing is handy for this as it quickly brings back the queries for a URL and lets you know how often a specific query is used on a page. If you're enjoying this video, drop a like below and subscribe. Internal linking is an important part of on-site SEO and general site usability. These internal links allow website visitors to navigate between topically related pages. Search engines also use these internal links to discover content, calculate a page's relevance and also pass external link equity between one internal page and another. As new content is added to a site, internal linking to existing content is often an afterthought and usually not done at all. Adding internal links to the page you are trying to rank for is an excellent way to boost the rankings of that page. To find pages that could link to the page that you are trying to improve the rank of, take your target query and use the following search operator. This will show you where else the target query text is used across your site and where you can internally link from. Linking from the home page is another method of internal linking you can test, but you can run this as a separate test to see if it has noticeable difference from internal linking from other pages. And this link doesn't have to stay on the home page forever to be worth it. While page titles are sometimes rewritten by Google, optimizing them for ranking purposes and click-through rates is still a good idea. Google has said that the page title is a small ranking factor, but it's tricky to rank for a query if your page title does not contain the target keyword at all. Here are some things to try to test on a page title. Include the target keyword, try a shorter or longer title, turn it into a question, add or remove the brand from the title, use action verbs, add the month and the year. It is arguable whether meta descriptions are a direct ranking factor themselves. I would suggest that they are an indirect ranking factor as having one that includes the primary and secondary target keywords will help boost click-through rate, which I would consider a ranking factor. If your page click-through rate improves over time, I would expect the rankings to improve as well. You can see on the screen some actions for crafting clickable meta descriptions. Everybody knows that quick websites are essential these days. So check your page speed scores and Core Web Vitals using free Google tools and fix the issues reported. Fixing site-wide page speed issues created by a template or team can be a big win as they can improve scores across the entire site. Page level issues are important to fix if you want to tick every box regarding ranking factors. Google is open that page speed is a ranking factor, although it's not clear how much weight it has. So you may as well fix the things Google is indicating you as an issue, especially as you are trying to improve a page that is not ranking well. An addition or alternative to getting an expert to write or review existing content is to add expert quotes around the topic. A good source is to reach out to customer for quotes. This is a good way of thanking a customer for supporting your product and helping your content. It can also provide a contextual backlink to their site. Additionally, Hero is a service that sends requests for quotes and thoughts to subject matter experts. If you are seeking out expert insights, send a request for source using Hero or just put out a tweet using the hashtag journal request. 
Linking to external resources that further explain topics will help your users. The web was built on websites linking together and in my view it demonstrates a genuine attempt to cover, explain and offer further information on a topic. A lot of people avoid linking to external websites but doing so is a natural thing. So link to more external sources and test the results. Make sure the target keyword is in the first paragraph. This might sound a silly thing to mention or too simple, but if you don't mention the keyword that people are searching for early in the page, this can be confusing for the reader as they might think the content on the page is not related to the target keyword. So add the keyword in the first paragraph and run an SEO test to see if it makes any difference. Adding structured data to your site and pages help provide information about the page to search engines. Google does a pretty good job when it comes to understanding a page's content. But structured data allows you to specifically describe to Google the topics and content. Structured data can be used to mark up specific elements within the page that Google can pull out and display within your site's listing in search results. These are some SEO experiments you can try to improve your rankings and the easier way for you to track the results of the tests is by using SEO testing. We collect the daily clicks, impressions and average position for the page or queries you are testing. So you can clearly see how the page performs before and after the changes. You can sign up for a 14-day trial without a credit card required and have full access to the tool. Use the link in the description and you won't regret it at all. Thanks for watching.